Carol Osborne, and I've been teaching and developing pre- and perinatal massage therapy educational programs since 1980. I've found during my practice and my teaching that the sideline position is one of the most useful positions for working with women during their pregnancies. And I'd like to share with you in this little demonstration some of the ways in which you can maximize the advantages of the sideline position for pregnant women. There are advantages that are involved in safety, comfort, the stability of the woman on the table, the accessibility to various problematic areas, and this sideline position also creates a wonderful way for me to have emotional and uh, nurturing support to my client. So Karen here is here today, and um, she's about 25 weeks along in her pregnancy. How you doing here, Karen? Great. Good. So um, you're accustomed to being on your side like this, but um, what I want to do is to do a few small things here that make a big difference in making you more comfortable and make the sideline position even better for you than it already is right now. Okay. okay? So the first thing we want to do here is to address safety, always our first concern. Um, the sideline position is probably our safest position for working with women because it maximizes blood supply to the baby and um, whether she's on her left or her right side. It avoids the possibility of supine hypotensive syndrome if she were to be on her back. And more importantly, it avoids things like extra intrauterine pressure if she were laying prone and the strain that can happen to the ligaments of the uh, uterus as well as the ligament structures of the pelvis if she's in the prone position. In order to get those advantages though, we need to be sure that the woman is truly on her side. And so one of the first things to look for as we support her is to see that her belly is completely supported. Now I've got uh, Karen on the Oakwork sideline positioning system. It's some, a piece of equipment that I use all the time in my practice and find that it does some, some wonderful advantages for getting a woman comfortable here. One of those, of course, is you can see that this torso cushion um, provides support under uh, most of her abdomen. Now there's a tiny little section of Karen's abdomen that needs a little bit additional support. This wedge is the ideal shape, but it's a little bit too big for Karen since she's a shorter woman. So what I'm going to do here is just use a rolled uh, sheet here and ask her to roll away from me. And I'm just going to add this tiny little bit of extra support right under the lower part of her abdomen. And can you feel the difference there, how that gives you, gives you a little more support, right? The next thing we want to pay attention to is helping her to stay on her side by making sure that the weight of her leg isn't pulling her uh, anteriorly onto her belly. You can see that supported like she is right now, her hip and her knee and her foot are not at a horizontal line. And if I add into this, the pillow that comes with the system and gently bring that in underneath her leg, right? I can support the leg so that now what we have is the hip and the knee and you'll notice, did you feel how that stopped you from tilting towards the front, yes. right? Made a significant difference. Now this foot hanging down here this isn't a problem in terms of positioning safety here, but this is a comfort thing that we can do is to either add this wedge here or that face cradle cushion that you're not using when you're in the sideline position. It can be used in lots of places such as under the foot to level off here. So this is made for um, a more secure position that keeps her safely on her side. Some areas of comfort that um, we want to address here so that she's really comfortable on her side. This leg alignment took care of a lot of comfort for her hip and her back so that there's no twisting of her lumbar spine as she lays on her side. Um, you can see that this torso cushion has a contoured cut into it so that the area where her breasts are are not being um, pressed, the cushion is not pressing up against her breast and so that means that her breast is really comfortable here. 
and her arm alignment of her shoulder. Do you notice that there's space between the head cushion and the torso cushion? So her shoulders fits in that space with a lot of, without a lot of pressure on that side, especially if we have her positioned on this cushion so that uh, generally her upper arm is at a 90 degree angle to her torso here. We find then that that usually gives her the best support. In addition, if we add a pillow here to the front, and she can take that pillow now and she can just put her arm over that pillow. That does a couple of things. It keeps the weight of her arm off of her, her breast if she were to have it somewhere other than on her belly. And this uh, pillow also has a little bit of a comfort support for the woman as well. Helps to keep a sheet in place too because obviously when we're actually working in a session she would be covered with a draping sheet and that pillow will keep that in front. Another little comfort measure for her. Now this uh, system has the possibility that it takes the weight off of the hip that's on the downside. That's a really nice um, feature and if it doesn't do that there are small pillows that you can get to support the hip. You can also take this small wedge pillow and use that underneath the hip but we're going to use it here because Karen's short, short enough that the torso cushion is providing cushioning under her hip for her already. Her lumbar spine has been supported by the torso cushion, but if you don't have the advantage of one of these wonderful systems then, and you're using pillows, for example, you might find that you need to put a small wedge or some kind of a folded towel if the lumbar spine has a little bit of a sag down towards the table. That's usually only problematic if the woman has really broad hips and narrower shoulders. The other wonderful comfort aspect of this position is that it avoids the sinus pressure of the prone position. So you can see that Karen's face and head are, are very um, free in this position and she's not going to have that problem. The sideline position is a very stable position. Using this system, it's very, it's a minimum of fussing around. Pillows tend to compress, so when you use a lot of pillows, you may have to um, add and move your pillows more. In order to prevent that from happening, though, the best thing for you to do is to really pay attention to this leg alignment and use the firmest pillows that you have at the bottom. A nice, firm, king-sized pillow works really nicely as the base of this, and then another king-sized pillow on top. That can be a great option if you're not using the firm foams of these bolsters and this sideline positioning system. One of the great advantages of sideline positioning is that you have accessible to you the areas that you may need to work the most. Those include the pelvis, the hip joint, the gluteal muscles, which you can see are very easily and readily worked in this position. I can very easily work here in her gluteals. I can work with her hip joint. And while we think a lot about the lower body being the problematic area, many women also can complain about upper back and shoulder problems. And as you can see, this position allows me great access to her pectoral girdle as well. So I can work in the trapezius. I can work with the levator scapula. I can work with her occiput and all of the attachments on the occiput and even work here with her arm if we have fluid buildup in her arm that we need to work with. Finally, one of the wonderful advantages of this position is that I'm able to see and monitor how my client is responding on an emotional level to this work. I can see her face readily. Many pregnant women have a lot to talk about and they need people to share with who are really focused on listening to them not necessarily providing a lot of advice, but instead just a compassionate ear. And this position makes that easier for her. She's not talking down into a face cradle towards the floor. And we can have some good communication. Not to mention that this is kind of a little bit of a fetal position in and of itself for the mom. And so that has its own nurturing qualities as well. 
So hopefully you will be able to position your clients in a sideline position, keeping in mind some of these pointers that will make this position have the maximum amount of safety, of comfort, of stability, of accessibility, and emotional support that it can have. If you'd like more information about positioning your clients for pregnancy work and postpartum work and more issues related around pre and perinatal massage therapy, please check my books and my courses on that topic. Thank you.